Okay, and your name is? Caroline Adams, and I play Kim, the archaeologist's assistant. And you're also uh, a stunt person? And I'm also a stunt person. And you play one of the demons? I play one of the demons. You're the lead demon. I'm the, uh, the lead demon, the captain of the demons. What is it like to be wearing one of those uh, demon costumes? Is that uh, pleasant? Oh, I love wearing the demon costumes. I mean, I would like go to a spa and just sit in one of them all day. And actually, we did sit in them all day sometimes. You kind of uh, have to learn how to breathe differently because there's latex all over your face, mouth. It feels like it's over your nose. Are you okay? And also the stocking caps, that's an exciting part. Do you wear stocking caps underneath? Yeah, the stocking caps go over our faces, and then on top of it, we put the latex mask. And on, underneath the cloaks or robes, you're wearing a bodysuit? Yeah, we're wearing uh, more black clothing, and then we have our shields, our latex rib shields that look like bare ribs. And we have some latex hands with nice claws. Everyone had their own personal hands. And then our mask, we had our own personal mask. Mine was Myrtle. It's really sweet. And, and on top of all this with masks and everything, they covered you with mud and, and water. Yes, and uh, dirt and glue and grass and sticks and leaves. Yeah. Was an experience? Oh, like I said, it was like a spa, you know. Well, what was the first time you heard about the crossing? Wow, the first time. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't remember. <laughs> well, I think Ed told me about it. Ed Wheeler. Ed Wheeler, Edward J. Wheeler. Possibly just try to get in shot of you. Um, a phenomenal producer, director, stuntman, fight choreographer. I think we know who you <laughs> Your first day out at the shoot? Oh, well, my first day at the shoot was actually a night shoot. It was when the demons were coming out of the forest with the mist. And uh, we had a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of uh, demons there that night. And we all rode out together in a van, kind of had a demon bonding experience on the Long Island Expressway. Was there regular uh, demons, or were these people changing regularly? These were, um, well, this first night was, there were some demons we never saw again, actually. Why do you suppose that was? Well, you know, I mean, not everyone is cut out for, for demon hood. What did, what did you think of this? You read the script at some point, there, so. Mm -hmm. What was your take on it? What did you think of it? Well, I was actually pretty disturbed. You know, I, I kind of grew up under a rock, and I didn't really watch any horror movies, so actually being in this horror movie was was a, was a pretty, you know, one of my first horror movie experiences all around. <laughs> So you're not a horror movie fan yourself? No, I'm not. What type of I'm a horror like? being in a horror movie fan. Uh, yeah. But you would like to pursue a career as a stunt person or an actor or a horror movie book? Um, well, my, my career pursuits are, are varied, but yes, I, I love doing stunts. I love figuring out the camera angles and creating this magic so that it looks like something horrible and gory is happening, but really it's just fake blood and people having a good time and making illusions. The illusion is, is what attracts me to, to doing stunts. Now you were up uh, how many days? Uh, 10, 15 days? I think, it was, I think it was only 10, 10 days. sadly. Overall a pleasant experience? Or what's your feelings looking back on it? It's great. It's great to feel like you're part of this project when that so many people have put hard work into. There's something kind of charming about working on a film where, where it's a small group and everyone's, you know, you know, the director was the writer also, and so it's really kind of 
a vision. You know, you're working with someone who has a vision. If you have less to work with, you have to really just kind of, it's like, like this right here is like made out of foam and it's more, oh, can I tell the secret? Feel free. <laughs> that here we are actually in the Bronx right now on a roof, <laughs> roof deck. And they just built this over the weekend. They brought in a whole bunch of sand and foam and wood and just constructed a sand pit on their roof in the Bronx so it could kind of match with the sand that we had out in Long Island. And I just really think, think that's great. You know, people just making stuff happen, just making things work with whatever they have. So what's next for you? Well, probably, you know, I will be the next IT stunt girl. Or I may uh, go to grad school and help people with injuries get better. How about being an archaeologist assistant? Oh! It seems like a lot of fun. No, actually, it's, it's fun to just sort of pretend and just, you know, be in this little moment of someone else's life. Like, suddenly you're, you know, you woke up one morning and you're an archaeologist. To just sort of feel how that feels. And that's really fun. Action. Okay, I'm out of here. I'll be back around 7 to pick you up. Okay. Stay out of trouble. And no matter what the future holds, you'll always have a movie that you were in that you can point to and show people. And... Yeah. Why don't you say something like that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well... I'm a, a dancer by trade, that's my background, and there's something really satisfying about movies because you do something and then it's there for in perpetuity, and that's really great because, you know, as a dancer when you're, you know, you're doing live theater and it's, it's very ephemeral, and this is something that I'll have, you know, on my bookshelf for the rest of my life. Hopefully be on everyone else's bookshelf as well.